You know, the way you organize a five-person startup is very different than the way you organize and operate a 50-person is di very different than the way we organize and operate Instagram today at four or 500. You know, kind of every time you double, things change. And by the time you've 10x, like, things definitely are different. So uh, I think it's natural when you're really small to be a lot more founder-led. Um, where things do go through the founder. You don't have the bandwidth, if you're six people, to have people running different experiments and other things. You, you want to have a very, very crystal clear goal um, and, and operate entirely around that, like trying to find product market fit. I think it becomes different once you've found product market fit and you're growing and trying to scale. You know, it starts to become more and more important to, for the mission not to just be in the founder's head, but for the mission to be something that everybody can repeat. For the most important, like you should be able to go around to your company as it scales and ask anybody, what are the three most important things we're working on? And if people give different answers, then you've got work to do. And everybody should be able to give the same answer. Everybody should be able to talk about the mission and how those things that you're doing, the three most important things, relate back to the mission. Um, and so the more you can, the more you can get everybody uh, focused on the same things and understanding the mission, the more you can distribute decision making down into teams and hopefully move faster in parallel with everyone going the same direction. Like you don't want to move faster with everyone going different directions at all times. You want to, you want to move faster with everyone going in parallel and that's, that's what the mission's for.